Hey Capricorn, thank you so much for tuning in. I pray that you're all safe and healthy at this time. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This may not resonate for all of you, but hopefully there is something here that you are able to take away from this reading. So I have pre-shuffled these cards prior to recording this video, but I'm going to be shuffling a little bit more here with you. If this do not resonate, kindly check your other signs for important messages, okay? For cross-watchers, keep in mind that their roles can also be vice versa in this reading. Thank you so much for all your support. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you would also like to check my boyfriend's music, the link to his channel is at the description box down below. Alright, so without further ado, let's get into your reading. I'm setting the intention to know how do they feel about Capricorn and how do they see Capricorn at this time, please? Any insider guidance into this current situation or person that Capricorn could be dealing with. Alright, so let's get the deck and let's see what comes up. This is called the Everyday Witches Tarot deck. Here we go. First card, we have Seven of Wands, followed by the Five of Swords, Five of Cups, and the King of Cups. So there could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, that you are connecting with at the moment. This is somebody from afar, at a distance. If it's not physically, it could be emotionally keeping their distance from you. At the moment, they could be experiencing a lot of inner conflict, Capricorn. Okay, Five of Swords. Heart versus mind. There is something that they want to do. Part of them wants to stand their ground, make up their mind, and start taking action. Okay, facing their fears, it looks like. But on the other side, this is also the energy with the Five of Cups of feeling quite helpless. Not knowing where to go, not knowing what to do, or doubting themselves here. I'm getting that you and this person may not have been in contact for a while. But they're definitely keeping tabs on you with King of Cups. They feel safe being away from you, but also keeping tabs and watching you from afar. It seems like they can't get themselves to get closer to Capricorn and face you. Tell you what it is that they've been thinking and they've been feeling lately. There could have also been a big argument that happened and something blew out of proportion. It was this person who could have started the drama. But it seems like they're regretting that now. Five of Cups and King of Cups. Okay. They're now realizing that they might have pushed you too far, Capricorn. With the Seven of Wands. Or that they might have got a little bit... I, I'm feeling some suspicion here. Some jealousy. I'm sensing a shadow side of the King of Cups. And whatever pattern or behavior that was. That was definitely unhealthy or imbalanced. They're now realizing that that might have caused you to walk away, okay? Or it might have pushed you farther away from them. And now they're worried here with Five of Cups. So they're possibly regretting missing an opportunity with you or messing the opportunity that they already had with you. Messing it all up, you know? I'm also getting here that... Uh, on the outside, this person wants to show that they can handle their emotions very well. But once in a while, when they don't get what they want here with Five of Swords, there's a tendency to lash out and put the blame on you here. Point fingers. And so, now that you're not around anymore, it leaves this person to reflect, meditate, and introspect. Okay. This patterns, this behavior, and this tendency... And how it could be affecting you and other people involved, okay? So at the moment, your person needs to find balance within. Let's see. We're going to get more cards. We have the Sun card. can also be a Leo. Two of Wands. The Seven of Cups. And the Hermit. Bottom of the deck is the Two of Swords. Yes. So I did say a while ago, this inner conflict, mind versus heart, okay? There is some kind of self-illusion uh, at the moment. And so it's a feeling of having their blindfold on, not knowing what to do. They already know in their heart what they want, but they're too afraid of taking that first step. Okay, this King of Cups, like I said, couldn't get themselves to face you, Capricorn. There's this energy of feeling stuck. All right? And so they need to face their fears. 
and not let the fear stop them from truly, truly manifesting what it is that already lies in their heart. Okay, so some of you, you felt like you needed to be away from this person because it already has been quite toxic. We have the hermit here. You're trying to find answers as well, Capricorn. Meditate, introspect, heal, and just need your own little quiet space in order to get back on a better mind space and heart space. I'm getting that there might have been some mental tricks as well, Five of Swords, uh, the blaming game or some kind of suspicion that happened. So with Seven of Cups, now this person is worried that you're keeping your options open or that you're probably talking to other people. Like I said, this is some kind of suspicion here, even though I don't sense the Seven of Swords because there's no actual deception that happened. It is this person's fear that is already projecting into reality. Okay, with Two of, of Wands over here, what this person needs to realize is that it is a different time at the moment. Whatever their fear was, based off on based off on their experience in previous relationship, they need to real to realize that it's a different relationship with you. That there's no need to feel sad or there's no need to be suspicious. Everything is all right. Everything is, you know, there's potential for happiness to expand on this relationship to create trust with each other here. And the world is in their hands if they truly want to take action towards manifesting this stability with you okay so some of you, you feel like you've been wrongly accused for something that you didn't actually do or that you feel the only reason why this person is putting the blame on you possibly it is something that they've done before and this makes you feel confused as well you don't know what to believe but in this case, it's Capricorn, it's best that you truly keep your distance from now, for now, until you find clarity on your own. Because going head on head on this person with this kind of energy at the moment will not be productive at the end of the day, okay? Both parties will end up being hurt. So it's best to let things calm down, unfold naturally on its own. There will be a real moment in which you both will have to face and sort things out. Okay, because situ the situation won't move unless you both decide on taking action with this. Let's see. Why is the Seven of Wands here, please? Clarify the Seven of Wands. We have the Empress. So you are the Empress in this reading. You are the Divine Feminine. You're dealing with your Divine Masculine here. So despite the gender, you're somebody here who is very loving, abundant, and giving. So, and I feel like as the Empress, you've been nothing but loving towards this person and giving and generous. But some of you, you felt really, really drained, okay? You felt like there was no proper give and take. For some of you, you feel like the reason why this person has been quite suspicious of you, you being the, impress you being the Empress, you're naturally uh, around people a lot. And like the sun, you naturally... Um, pull people in okay people gravitate towards you let's see we have queen of wands some of you may be dealing with a fire sign aries leo sagittarius and we have the magician all right so capricorn there is something that this person wants to manifest okay they really want to work things out but with five of swords at the moment you're lacking the confidence to step up and manifest their their plans okay this can also indicate that there is an apology that they want to make apologize for their actions and make it up with you some of you, you dealt with somebody's bad temper and now they're regretting that they lose their temper when you both have fought okay queen of wands perhaps this person never really apologized to you when that situation happened but there are two five of cups here, which means regret and remorse. Also grieving about the separation or this gap that exists between you both at the moment. So it seems like they want to talk to you. They want to establish communication. Let's see. Why is the five of cups here, please? We have five of swords. So, wow. 
I'm sensing that this person with the Five of Swords, there's two Five of Swords here. When you both have fought, it was at the heat of the moment. They could have said words to offend you or to hurt you, but they want to take it all back now. Okay. Uh, they tried to push you away because they felt like they can, but they regret saying that. They don't actually mean that. Capricorn, you're dealing with somebody who has a defensive side. They push you away, but truly what they want is for you to get closer. And you were trying to figure this person out. It got you really, really confused. And you don't play mind games like that. This is something that you don't want to spend your energy with. To you, it should be that they mean what they say and they say what they mean. Not say something and do something different. We have the Eight of Wands. So now they want to... Yes, they definitely want some change, okay? They want to make it up with you. This can also indicate that due to the course of time and with the help of spirit, with the help of this space to heal, they were able to really reflect Capricorn. Now that pride and ego is being stripped away, they're left with nothing but their pure heart's desires and intentions. That is the reason for them realizing now that they regret what they said and they've done, Okay. There's a lot of fives in this reading. Five of Cups appeared twice, so I really sense some regret. And that is usually the case. They regret when you're no longer around here, Capricorn. We have Five of Wands. Wow. So it can also mean that uh, they're afraid there's a sense of competition. If there has been suspicions or jealousy issues here, okay, it is their jealousy that made them a little bit obsessed with you obsessed with the idea of having you and so they did not want to compete with other people's attention this can also indicate there has been a lot of back and forth argument regarding trust so it is a shadow side that they need to heal perhaps somebody has hurt them in their previous relationship ten of wands caused them a lot of burden let's see also, they're done arguing. They no longer want to fight. Perhaps they started this argument, but they regret it. And now they want to stop this fight, Capricorn. Okay, we have Four of Cups in reverse. Some of you, you're already in this energy of, I'm letting this go. I want to live life freely. I want to have emotional and mental clarity. I don't want to dwell with this low vibrational energy any longer. So, with the Sun card over here, you're just in a more positive energy at the moment Capricorn and so this can also mean that you have closed your heart at the moment and you're just focusing on yourself five of pentacles as you're going through this transition can also mean that perhaps you were the one who rejected this person altogether after that fight and now they feel left out in the cold by you because they've been so used to you being around there, Capricorn, okay? And now they can't get themselves to be closer to you. They feel like they can only watch you grow from afar. Watch you become happy from afar. And they're no longer part of that happiness. We have King of Swords. So some of you, it could also mean that you're about to make sharp decisions of confronting this person altogether and saying them your peace of mind. If you haven't cut this situation yet. Because whenever you see the King of Swords, it's time to make fair decisions. Okay? You're thinking things over in a logical perspective. Some of you are dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Who could have been a little bit spiteful in their words. And lacking emotional expression here. We have Nine of Wands. So again, that defensiveness, it is their defense mechanism. They try to say words that they don't mean. It's only late for them to realize the impact of those words and how this might have pushed you away. Okay? Let's see. Why is the Seven of Cups here? We have Ten of Cups. So you were happy with this person in the beginning. But there has been a lot of signs indicating that they have things that they need to work on on themselves. Okay, the Ten of Cups can indicate now you're realizing there's a lot of different sources of love for you, Capricorn. Meaning love for, from friends and family, 
love from your work, from what it is that you do best. It feels like, like the star over here, you are just ascending to your higher self. A lot of opportunities opening up for you left and right. You're keeping your options open. Some of you are choosing to close your heart for now so that you can focus on your goals. And you're happier this way because it's less chaotic and there's no drama. Okay, let's see. Why is the Ten of Cups here, please? Two of Cups. Wow. I sense a lot of self-love, but also you're waiting for the right person to come in. Most of you, you are just simply loving yourself, enjoying this moment. Star card in the Empress. It's a period of growth. You being really, really creative, pus putting yourself out there. A lot of people are attracted to you. Uh, but also, you're just waiting for that soulmate connection. But also, I'm sensing here that this could be the reason why your person is feeling jealous, okay? Because some of you guys... Some information has been passed on to this person that you're probably seeing somebody new. Ace of Swords. We have the Princess of Wands over here. There's a lot of exciting good news coming up for you, Capricorn, and they've also been keeping tabs about this. This means projects, okay, collaborations, new business ventures, new passion for some of you, or new person. We have the chariot card yes and you are indeed moving forward through sheer will and determination okay you're moving towards your success this can also mean uh you're feeling more and more confident now that you are on the right path and you made the right decision at the end of the day you have no regrets because you did what you could being the empress and the sun card here and you work yourself so hard in order to sustain those person or people in your life but with ten of wands you felt like it has been quite one-sided so again this water sign is showing up with King of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, and the Hierophant. So some of you are definitely working hard for your long-term goals, okay? Extremely hardworking here and committed to your goals, Capricorn. You have already ascended to your higher self, expanding your awareness. It's like you change big time. Your beliefs, your ideas, what you stand for in relationships, and what matters the most at the end of the day is stability. This King of Cups is just watching you from afar, building your life, building your empire over here. And they're really not, not so happy about this growth that you were in. Although there's nothing else that they can do at the moment because they need to overcome their fear. If they truly want to reach out to you. The Hierophant can also mean forgiveness, welcoming this person back in. If this is part of your family too, I mean, Ten of Pentacles and Eight of Pentacles, you're you're eager to welcome them back in, but also they need to do their part so that they can make you feel like they really want to be a part of this, you know? And not start any more kind of drama. This is what I'm getting. Okay, let's get some advice card. We have Creation, Workaholic. One more card, please, for Capricorn. Any advice for Capricorn? So the advice here with creation card is that like the Empress, right? You are a conscious manifester. So keep creating what it is that you want to manifest in your love life. Yes, look at that with the gossip card. Pay no attention to the haters, the naysayers, people that are saying things behind your back because at the end of the day, uh, they just need to focus on their own path. You know, the reason why they're focused on you is because they have all this time to scrutinize your work, okay, or watch you, watch you unfold, watch you grow, when they should start paying attention to their own life. You know what I mean? They should face themselves in the mirror and reflect on their actions because this gossip card, this is just a waste of energy, okay? Them, them judging others or them judging you for your own choices is not going to help them improve their own situation. I feel like that's because you're you're really rich reaching a state in your life where you're becoming more and more successful capricorn and so you had to isolate yourself from this toxic energy okay or you had to be in this energy of the hermit to really realize crystal clear what your priorities are and it's a period of growth okay it's a period of growth so there's a lot of gossip here or this water sign has been keeping tabs on you oversharing things on other people 
but let them talk capricorn at the end of the day just keep uh, manifesting keep creating okay you're about to really um reach a point of your life where you know what matters most okay so this is your reading thank you so much for watching till the end i'm sending love and light hopefully that there was some kind of insight that you were able to get in this reading can only take whatever resonates and leave out what doesn't all right so thank you and namaste